This is the Bauer Vapor Hyperlite 2. So I really appreciate that United Sport and Cycle uh, had some special offerings. So this is the uh, two-piece Hyperlite 2. Um, and really, it felt like a two-piece blocker. Um, uh, I mean, pretty familiar feel to what I uh, have used and, and am using. Um, so I thought it uh, was really nice. Um, I really like the material, uh, the curved material that they use, uh, just to get those rebounds. It's still one of the things that I really enjoy about bar blockers. And and really, if they offered the colors that I wanted originally, I probably would have ordered a bar blocker. Um, yeah, so I really like how this is. It's a very familiar feel for people who want this type of blocker. So, I mean, Bauer has it available for their people. Uh, one of the things that I thought was really interesting is the the finger stalls are very wide, like just, or just, it's very thick here. There's just a lot of space uh, in there. So, not sure why they decided to do that, but, um, uh, I mean, and then it's got their kind of Nash, probably a Nash palm here. And yeah, it's nice and soft and supple, but just very roomy. So, I know that there are other manufacturers who want to make the palm a bit uh, snugger. This one's not snug. But uh, yeah, it's a good blocker. I mean, it's a familiar blocker. So for people who want something familiar, um, you know, a two-piece blocker, it's there. Now, the other thing that I got to try was the Vapor 90 glove. And um, so this was also kind of nice just because it's just a catching style that, um, a catching break that it seems to be that's uh, all the rage right now. So you can kind of see how it has that fold over uh, for that style. Um, I had tried this on the ice before and um, yeah, definitely uh, didn't, I'm not as uh, familiar with it in my playing style, but uh, for the skate that I just went on, eventually it kind of worked out so that I was able to catch more pucks. Um, it definitely feels different the way it hits in the pocket, so, um, you know, it's distinct in that way. And especially with the way that the shape is, um, I actually found with the way that I was holding my hands, um, I felt like maybe it was just because of the way that I held my hands, but just I was getting beat down low. So there are actually even a few puck marks. I'm pretty sure those are the shots that I just missed because I was trying to get down and catch it or to squeeze in and um, yeah, I didn't get it. But you know, I think this is a uh, good reproduction of the 90 degree break by Bauer for the people who want it. So it certainly exists. Um, the strapping on the back is uh, very standard, so nothing too unusual uh, or too innovative in that way. It's just that this is the shape of what it is that people have wanted it. for the people who want it from Bauer. It uh, certainly is an option, and uh, I thought it was. Now, at least I've played with it and it's broken in two. This has a good game ready feel. Now, especially as a demo glove, uh, it's pretty broken in. So, um, and I know that people have been taking it out because they're interested in it. So, this uh, is nice and snappy in the way that it's been. I guess I can just go around like this. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty good. And then uh, the Hyperlite 2 pads, uh, I really enjoyed these. Um, you know, I was using it, and uh, one of the, the first things I did was I actually made sure that I off-centered the toe. I think the bungee is a good length, but the way that I am used to my other gear, having it to the offset with this, it was nice and snug uh, and really responsive to, uh, to the way that I was playing. Um, I really felt that when I went down in the butterfly that this was very, it felt very secure. It sat very flush and I'm sure that's part of the stability flex. The way the pad sat was very flush on the ice and I felt that um, around my calf it was really wrapped and secured. So that was really nice. Um, having the tune fit uh, was also another way for it to sit pretty snugly on my leg. Um, one of the things I did notice though with this is that, you know, with the knee block here um, and just there's the way that they've set up the tune fit this time is there's a loop right here and I could feel it. Now, nothing that was too uncomfortable because I was using my knee pads, but um, I could just feel it sometimes when I was there. So it would be something I feel like for people who can be um, very aware of what they have in their 
uh, leg channel that might be something that someone will notice. Uh, the uh, grip here is very grippy so that's kind of nice. Um, you know this is the extra small size and it just sat uh, it, it worked for me just to fit in and uh, yeah I thought that the way that this pad, pad sat on my leg very responsive to moving. Um, the sliding was really nice I thought and uh, you know, with uh, I was able to push and get across for the shots that I wanted to, and um, yeah, I think that you know I think power pads have uh, come a long way, and this is a really nice pad, and uh, yeah, so I would wear this again for sure. I thought it was really nice. So those are some of my thoughts on the Bauer Hyperlite Two. Uh, thanks for watching.